Thank you for your interest in the newest innovation in ambulation mobility, the mobile stair lift. This video will tell you everything you need to know to safely operate our product. The mobile stair lift comes fully assembled out of the box and requires no other tools or assembly. This stair lift does not require pre-installed tracks and can carry up to 500 pounds, as many as 100 flights of stairs on a single charge. The box will contain one stair lift, one battery, one battery charger, one instruction manual, one dust cover, and two keys. Once you're ready to use the stair lift, unbuckle the seat belt, then fold the seat down until you feel it lock into place. Next, attach the battery charger to the charger port and plug in the adapter to the wall. Charge the battery for at least four hours to ensure that it is fully charged. You can check the battery's power level by pressing the red button next to the four lights on the battery. The green lights will illuminate according to how much battery power remains. Once the battery is fully charged, insert the key on the side of the battery and turn it clockwise to the red circular symbol to power on the battery. The red indicator light will illuminate when the battery is powered on. The stair lift is now ready to use. We recommend familiarizing yourself with the stair lift by practicing on flat ground, then ascending and descending stairs with no rider. This will ensure your safety and the safety of the rider. Before the rider sits down in the seat, make sure that the stair lift is completely unfolded and that the rear wheels are locked. Once the rider is seated, and before unlocking the wheels, make sure that they are strapped in with the safety belt and that their feet are resting on the footrest. The rider must always be secured by the safety belt when the chair is in motion. To ascend a staircase, back the stair lift up to the staircase and stop when the treads are approximately 10 inches from the bottom stair. Push the red track handle towards the arrow to pull the track away from the stair lift until it locks into place. Power on the stair lift by flipping the red switch on top of the handlebar to the on position. The red switch can be switched off to stop the stair lift at any time. The red switch sits between the green button, which rotates the treads to take the stair lift up the stairs, and the yellow button, which rotates the treads to take the stair lift down the stairs. Rotate the red knob on the back of the stair lift to extend the handlebar. We recommend that you completely extend the handlebar to its highest level before beginning your ascent or descent. Lean the handlebar towards you to tilt the stair lift back until the treads are resting on the stairs. Then press the green button while firmly gripping the handlebar and pulling it towards the stairs. When you reach the top of the stairs, Continue moving backward until the front wheels have cleared the edge of the landing. Only then, lean the handlebars forward to return the stair lift to its bottom four wheels. Lock the back wheels, fold the tracks into the upright and locked position, and rotate the red knob to slide the handlebar down. Then fold out the two handles on the back of the seat, unlock the back wheels, and wheel the chair away. While it is possible for one person to easily operate the stair lift, it is our strong recommendation to have a second operator stand below the stair lift and act as a safety spotter and emergency backup. The handles on either side of the footrest can be extended for the second operator's use. To prepare to descend a staircase with the mobile stair lift, ensure the rider is securely strapped in with the safety belt and then approach the top of the stairs. Leave a few inches between the front wheels and the edge of the top stair. Lock the back wheels and push the top of the red track handle towards the arrow and pull the tracks away from the stair lift until they lock into place. Power on the stair lift and rotate the red knob behind the stair lift to extend the handlebar. Use the handlebar to lean the chair back onto the bottom tips of the treads until the treads sit at the approximate angle of the staircase you are planning to descend. Then press the yellow button to begin descending the stairs. Take care to pull the handlebar towards the stairs to keep the tracks pressed flush against the stairs. You should not be holding the weight of the stair lift in your hands. Once the back wheels of the stair lift touch the surface at the bottom of the stairs, use the handlebar to tilt the stair lift forward into an upright position. To 
return the stair lift to a folded position after use, rotate the red knob and slide the handlebar all the way down the back of the stair lift. Fold the tracks up and lock them into place. Pull the inner red bar towards the arrow while leaning the back of the seat forward, then fold the seat up. Fold in the footrest and make sure the wheels are flat against the front. Finally, fasten the seat belt around everything to hold everything in place. The chair is now ready to be stored or transported. For more information on the mobile stairlift, please visit mobilestairlift.com. Thank you for watching and enjoy using the mobile stairlift.